Hello everyone, I have a question for you. Have you ever wondered what the winning time might be for the men's 100m event at the Tokyo Olympics? Let us take a look at all the winning times from all the way back in the year 1968. Here we can see that we have some amazing feats. Now our goal is to use all of this data and make a somewhat accurate prediction for the 2021 Olympics. Here we have the coordinate axes and we have a random set of points. So if I ask you, what would the point be at this value x? So what would you tell me? What you would try to do is, you would try to draw a line that best represents all this data and gives you a good idea of what the y coordinate will be for this x coordinate. And so we call this line, the line of best fit. So how do we find this line of best fit? Let me introduce you to an analogy. Let's say there were 13 villagers and you wanted to know how, how each of them felt about you. And there's a very popular person in the village who we will call villager X. Naturally, you would ask villager X since he knew how everyone else felt about you. How do we find this villager X? So what we would do is we would average out all the X coordinates and all the Y coordinates to get this most crowded point and then since this villager x does not actually exist in our data set, we will find the point closest to our villager x and we will name that point our reference point. We get the most crowded point to be 1992, 9.91 and clearly we can see that the point closest to this crowded point is nothing but 1992, 9.96 or with regards to our analogy, we will call this point villager x. Now, with villager x as our reference point, we find out all the other slopes with respect to this point and average them out. Now that we know the average slope, we can construct a line of best fit using the, form, using the point slope form of a line, which says that y minus y1 equals the slope m into x minus x1. So, how do we choose this x1 and y1? Well, once again, we make a line pass through this reference point. I predict that for the Tokyo Olympics, the winning time for the men's 100 meter race will be 9.67 seconds. And my bet is on Noah Lyons. There you have it. Using some pre-calculus math, we have created a model for our data. Keep in mind that to find the exact line of best fit, we use linear regression, which requires knowledge of calculus. Now, I want you guys to try and predict the winning time for the women's 100 meter event at the upcoming Olympics. Thank you.